All right, to reach our first spot, we're going to start from the giant cool tooth that sticks out of the water. And from here, we are going to head southwest until we reach the sparse reef. By going here, there aren't going to be any threats at this spot that you'll need to be worrying about. So you're going to be completely safe going over here. Now, once we're in the sparse reef, you're going to see this giant, this big old hole right here. You're going to head down this hole, and this is where you're going to start looking for your time capsules. Now, they can spawn just about anywhere down here. So they can spawn on the sea floor. They can spawn on this little, on this little side, all throughout the cave. And as we can see, there's one time capsule right there. This is my first one, because I obviously already knew it was here. Yeah, we got the time capsule right here. Now, the other thing is you can't find the time capsules using the scanner, unfortunately. The bowl. Ooh, it's safe this way. But yeah, when you get here, you're just gonna search the throughout this entire little cave. You can't find it in the cave. Then you can maybe search around at the top of the biome. And you know, like maybe like up here. I haven't I haven't ever found a time capsule up here. But I know 100 percent I found multiple time capsules in different saves all down in this little area slash cave or whatever. Alright, reaching the next spot. We are going to start from the giant cold to the six of our water again. Got our daytime, please. And from here, we are going to head one notch to the left of north until you reach the Blood Cup Zone. Northern Blood Cup Zone, sorry. Now, in terms of the creatures you're running to here, the only things that you need to be worrying about are the crab squids and the ampules. Now, crab squids, ampules, and warpers, because they're all over here. And sometimes the bone sharks from the mushroom forest can wander over into the Blood Cup Zone. So also watch out for them. So there's four creatures you need to watch out for. All right, and we are now here. So once you're here, you're gonna start looking around on the sea floor again for a time capsule spawn. So my time capsule spawned right over here, like right in this little cave, and it's gonna be right under that flat right there. This is my time capsule spawn. All right, and also keep in mind that these like exact spots that I found the time capsule, so I found this time capsule like right underneath this flower right here, but cause I found a time capsule twice in this spot. So I found one right here. And then the other one I found was in a different save game, but it was more like over here, sort of. You're gonna need to be looking around like the entire biome basically to make sure that a time capsule did or didn't spawn because they're not gonna spawn in like the exact same spots every time it'll spawn. And then it may spawn in like the same biome, but not the same, not the same specific spot, I guess, whatever. Now, because of the spots that I just showed, um, because the time capsule spawns are like extremely random. So you may check both of those spots and you might not find anything, which is unfortunate, but you know, making your time capsule search a little easier. Don't search any cave biomes or anything like super deep because you aren't gonna find any in there because they don't spawn that deep. They, only, they mainly spawn in the surface biome, stuff that where you can see like the, the uh, 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 surface of the water. Jeez, can't talk. Another thing you could also try doing, as you can see what I just did right now, is also searching for the time capsule specifically at night. Because all the every time you find a time capsule, the blue glowy part is going to be facing upwards, right? So as you can see right here, it's really easy to see and pick out at night amongst all the other resources and all the other stuff that you'll find. You'll just see this like little blue light kind of looks like a PDA just illuminating out the ground or off the ground. And it makes it a lot easier to see whenever you're just like going over like sweeping a bile and whatnot. Cause you're not gonna be able to look at like every little, like every little intricate detail and you may pass over some stuff. So if you search at nighttime, especially because the time capsule glows, it'll make it a little easier to see, a lot easier to pick out, and you'll be less likely to miss it. You're also, all, you're like super likely to find a time capsule just by playing the game. Like even if, like if you aren't looking for one, if you explore, if you're just like exploring the game, as you just, you know, explore your game, swim around, do all that, you'll, you'll eventually run into like a time capsule somewhere. You know, again, unless you're either unlucky, 
explore every little biome. And if you do that, then you'll likely run into a time, run into a few time capsules without even like looking for them. You may be like looking for something else and you may end up finding one just randomly. But there's also that, but yeah, if you're looking for them specifically, go at nighttime and only check the surface biomes. I'll give a list of the biomes that you can find time capsules in just to be sure. But yeah, that's about all I had for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.